Aquariano, welcome back to the channel, Aquarius Aqua. How you got a water name, but you're an air sign. I think that matches your aloofness, your alien nature, your genius, uh, lackadaisical, I don't care type attitude. Let's get into it. Like the video, subscribe to the channel as you come into the reading, right? So that we continue to grow. We're trying to pass our 1,000 subscriber mark. Open up that last tarot deck for you guys. Get into a live. But yeah, love messages, the highest messages of love and light for our Aquarius collective today, spirit. What do the air signs need to know in regards to love, romance, and the matters of the heart? What are they currently dealing with and what's coming towards them, perhaps? Love messages for Aquarius spirit, please and thank you. We got a flipper, ace of swords. There you go. Mm hmm. You're an air sign, ace of swords showing up. You could possibly be dealing with an air sign. Some sort of a new perspective, breath of fresh air, or an understanding is coming towards you. Now, this is a romance and love reading. So, someone wants to bring a truth to you or a truth is about to come towards you. Grounding your reading today is the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, yeah, a truth is coming to you. <laughs> Reminds me of the number 10, does it not? Do I have to put it this way? The 1 and 0. <laughs> and then the 10 is actually uh, Wheel of Fortune's numerology. <laughs> Anyways, wish fulfillment headed towards you, some sort of a jackpot. This could be in finances or, again, with this being a romance and love reading, it could be in regards to a relationship. It is my wedding ring card as well. Seven of Pentacles, time being put into a situation. So someone wants to put time and effort, garden, gardening, maintaining, pruning. It's an investment, right? An investment that was made a while back or an investment that someone wants to put in now. Yeah, probably a vetting situation. Yep, just as I said it, the King of Swords. Someone that knows what they know, what they know to be true, that has a deep understanding and you could be dealing with a, a uh, thought provoker or a author or writer, something like that. Someone with a strong vocabulary or a powerful mind. It could be a leader or a teacher as well. This could be online communication. Maybe someone's taking or investing in a course. Page of Pentacles. Student activity, yeah. Or again, an investment, someone's ready to make an investment into this Seven of Pentacles, which means an investment is my hourglass card. Again, a relationship reading, so someone's ready to invest. This could be um, service coming towards you, like a payment or tokens of appreciation, or again, some sort of a small offer or gift. Yeah, uh, a genuine gift, something that's um, like someone that loves you or knows you or that has been studying you or vetting you. Um, roses, anyone can give roses as a love gift, but this person wants to come in with a more, um, for you, um, although, yeah, they could give you roses, they want to give you something that's more of to your personality. So it, it I guess we'll stick with flowers because I'm trying to think of something. Maybe you like roses, but maybe you like something, another flower more than you like roses, <laughs> daisies or lilies or something like that, mm -hmm. tulips. So they're taking it an extra step further to get you something that they know that you'll actually value, right? It could be pizza, right? Maybe you like pizza, but this person knows that you like pineapple hand pizza, right? A strange one, I know I do, but most people think that that should not go together, right? Perhaps this is an interracial relationship, yep. <laughs> you see the two different skin tones here. <laughs> do I have to bring up the, the, the box cover art, right? None of these people have the same skin tone. All right. Yeah, they're looking for a victorious moment. This person may already have a platform or you may have a platform, but they're wanting to come towards you for a victorious moment. They can see success with you or building success or if they invest in you that this would be very successful. Five of Wands, having to do battle, competition. Mm -hmm. You could be, I wanted to say you could be dealing with a celebrity. This person could have like, um, again, I mean, they may be an influencer or something. I mean, they could be a celebrity. Wheel of Fortune here. I mean, that's, yeah. 
because the five of wands is my paparazzi's card as well. So they have to fight through something to get to the truth. Mm -hmm. Which would be you. They're wanting to get to their truth, which is you. That rhymes, so it must be true. All right, seven of pentacles, three, yeah, they're watching you from a distance. They're wanting their trophy is the downloaded message. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're wanting their victory. So meeting you halfway or they're about to bust the move to come towards you. They're manifesting you in some sort of a way. Let's clarify the king of swords, the four of wands. Yeah, they see you as a twin flame, a soulmate or some sort of a best friend that they can build a home out of. Mm -hmm. Have a successful union with. Yep. The 1111 card. King of Wands specializes in contracts. Mm -hmm. So this is a marriage, right? And the Ace of Swords is out. So it's the King of Swords and his sword. Bringing truth, understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys may talk about this. Again, come to some sort of an understanding of a relationship, right? Communication is key. Queen of Swords, yeah, both you guys, yep, you're about to have this conversation. You're both supremely intelligent, both wise individuals, right? Mm -hmm. This is your divine counterpart, your person. The King and Queen of Swords with the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry, with the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands comes out. Now we have the Six of Wands here, which is victory as well. Yeah, and the offer is coming in soon. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they're possibly wanting to have children with you. Mm. This is here. Nonetheless, we're about to clarify the last card of the reading, which is this six of this, yeah, six of wands, this victorious moment. The full card. Yeah, so they're ready to take a leap. So they're ready <laughs> to take a leap of faith into a new relationship or to leap into this victorious moment. Right. This could represent um, the two of you, just like the queen and the queen of swords and the queen of the king and queen of swords represents one of you guys. One of you guys could represent this uh, full card Aries. So maybe Aries somewhere in your chart. And the other one represents eh, usually for me, this is like a refugee or someone that travels. Right. They're on a horse. So they're a traveler. One of you guys could be a traveler. Mm -hmm. About to come into union here. Dare I say mystical union? <laughs> Oh, man, the subliminals. Underneath the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Wish fulfillment, success, abundance, fate and destiny. Mm -hmm. Divine timing. Our hermit card here with Virgo energy. Very detail-oriented. Could be a very spiritual connection or a very private connection, depending right how it resonates for you. Mm -hmm. Three of Swords. Ooh, heartbreak energy, right? Um... I mean, yeah, one of you guys or both of you guys have, have come out or have learned something about heartbreak. Okay, so that's how it wants to come in. Both of you guys have learned something about heartbreak. I'm not sure what it is. For me, the Three of Swords is not getting enough attention or not putting enough intention or attention into something that you should be putting attention into. With this being a love reading, and we see this as a heart. This could be love, romance, a relationship, marriage. Most people read it as heartbreak, cheating, right? That sort of thing lying yeah but it, the way it's coming off because the hermit is a learner right it could be a teacher or a student um you learn something about heartbreak again i'm not sure why i keep repeating it that way but that's the way it's coming off to me <laughs> learning how to avoid heartbreak the first card in the reading is the ace of swords the last card is the fool yeah you got an understanding of how to avoid heartbreak <laughs> We have the King of Wands, passionate, mm -hmm. a leader, someone very creative, sexually experienced. Again, a journeyman, mm -hmm. the full energy. Mm -hmm. And then the Knight of Swords, communication. Mm -hmm. Someone has something to say. The Emperor shows up. First time the Emperor shows up. The Empress has been showing up quite a lot today for Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the Emperor is finally showing up in Aquarius' uh, reading. So someone that's going to bring structure, control, um, a father figure. Someone that is, uh, yeah, a very strong leader. The, the Fool and uh, the Emperor, both Aries 
um, Major Arcanas. And then the King of Wands, yeah, a strategic leader. I'm getting advanced, yeah, someone very advanced. And then, of course, the King and Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Divine counterparts of the same suit, very intelligent, very wise, very talkative. Mm -hmm. You see the birds in the background. Mm -hmm. Birds of a feather flock together, both having their swords up. Huh. Go play pool or something with each other, right? Go do something that's not just physical, something that requires skill and a level of conversation because I sense there's a conversation or an understanding coming here. Pause. Yeah. I like air sign relationships, man. I'm a Libra, so maybe I'm biased. I even had a Libra uh, say to me not too long ago that she, I'm not sure, yeah, it, she likes leap. Well, she likes air sign relationships. No, she did say Libra, Libra relationships, right? I've always been curious in myself. I've come across so many Libra women that I was attracted to and attracted to me. We just were never in relationships together. And I wonder, right? I mean, it could be very well something very bad, but hey, we got to stay positive, right? Wheel of Fortune showing up in a reading, so it must be positive. Queen of Swords is Libra. King of Swords is Aquarius. But, and Knight of Swords is who? Uh, Gemini. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, um, this person wants to continue to learn you, but they're uh, wanting to come into union with you, a relationship. They feel that you're their person, right? Their best friend or divine counterpart, soulmate, twin flame, whatever label you want to put on it, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed your weekend and you got the messages that you need to get out of this reading, right? If you need to watch other readings, there's an Aquarius playlist and even a twi twin flame playlist if you need more clarification on twin flame dynamics. But catch you guys on the next one, Aquarius. Peace.